Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick. I'm a commercial photographer from Galway in the west of Ireland. And you are looking at the Lightning Blog channel and today is Photo Friday. Hi folks, last week I did the Ona bag with Dave and it just kind of came out on a Friday and it's like, yeah, I know I need to do the Photo Friday stuff. So even though I was going to do it on the other channel, I really need to keep everything together and I know that now. Uh, it just it's easier and the other thing is by doing that it means that I'm definitely going to be more consistent so what I want to talk about is something that I'm exploring myself at the moment doing commercial photography means I've done a lot of interiors and exteriors I'm also doing lots of commercial portraits and so because of that I'm doing a lot of hospitality based stuff and so an extension of that is food and drink so I have shot food and drink for various nightclubs that I've worked for and restaurants and things like that so but now I'm extending it just so I have a lot more choice so to do that I've been doing a lot of personal work in that so I'm just going to talk about some of that kind of stuff so here's something I'm just doing yesterday the idea is that I'm using shallow depth of field so I'm shooting with a macro lens I'm shooting with this the 60 mil um, it just allows me to get really really close as I need and to highlight stuff and get a reasonable shallow depth of field so I can have something like this here in focus and then just have it go away now this is unedited, this is just literally straight uh, from camera. So I would do a lot of clean up and stuff like that and get rid of bits and that. So I'm just showing you straight from camera. Mm. So some of the stuff, uh, oh, screen flow showing there. So if I go to G for grid, you can see some of the stuff I'm practicing. Now this idea is straight from a website that, or a, a blog that I found, or even a channel rather, um, that I'm really liking here. I'm gonna jump to that now. And that is called The Bite Shot. So uh, stuff on the portfolio is really, really cool. and. So this is it here, and I'm having a mental block, but I do believe it's Joni Simon that's running that. And uh, when I was looking at her two or three days ago, she had uh, 53,000 subscribers, now she's 54, so obviously popular, but really, really good idea, and absolutely fantastic to watch, very, very natural and relaxed, which I love. And then the portfolio is there as well, which shows you some of the stuff. And of course, I'm absolutely inspired by it as well. So if some of the stuff looks similar to this, well, I am learning, and the best way to learn is by copying. And then bringing your own style into it from there. Glenn Juice, I'm sure, would agree with that, seeing he's got a book called Photograph Like a Thief. Right, so jumping back as well. So I've, I've got some stuff to try and help along the way. So as well as using the lens, uh, instead of buying lots of napkins, and I will be buying more napkins and stuff like that. So our local uh, Aldi has, I think it's Aldi, yeah, Aldi has these kind of, these are just basically cloth kits. So the idea is for like Rego bolstering chairs and stuff like that. There's a lot of different designs in it that was 10 quid, but it just means I can leave them into the shot. So for example here, going back to what I was shooting recently, we can see here we've got one of the napkins underneath there. So it's not actually a napkin, it's actually one of these. And then the same with the pomegranate. We can see here, I've just got one in the edge. That's actually a different one again. And then for my berries which i probably need to lighten this is again not edited i'm going to for develop because they're just the embedded preview at the moment and so it's a little bit more popping that it's just to have these things i'd actually crop that tighter than that so for instagram it would be five by four so i'd be more likely to go for five by four and here i've used depth of field so that these are deliberately the focus our attention is on the top of the bowl itself so other things i've used as well are like things like cinnamon sticks and cinnamon sticks obviously last as well so you can just have them and just use them as props like this is an apple and cinnamon muffin and um, so i've just added them in just to show what was there i mean obviously the, the sugar is not the same sugar as on the thing but it's just to give you that kind of feel and again chopping boards as well i'm using chopping boards for backgrounds as well so i have a couple of different ones and um, so like that would be the dark brown one that we saw it's just this one here uh, and they're trapped as well so i have that there so i'm just using them so i have different Kind of backgrounds there's some slaves as well and stuff like that but also there's stuff like this little burlap sack which actually looks really cool in these ones because it's keeping in the same tonalities and that's what i'm really trying to do other things that look really cool in shots are things like uh, star anise just star anise itself looks fantastic anyway so yeah loving that so i think the idea with these is that they're pretty straightforward and easy enough to do well, here's the thing right you can do this yourself at home no problem you literally just set stuff on your counter right and these are all lit very very simply even the bottle stuff and um, i'll show you some bottle stuff actually as well Um so like this would be kind of just some bottle stuff as well now obviously th these are only just tests i'm not really super happy with them and um, i didn't bother putting them in the background because they're just tests but again this would be the same kind of lighting as what we're going to talk about here and we can see the reflections here 
So what it is is two lights. So this if this is the product, I have one light here, and then I have a stronger light coming from here. So what I've done is I've created a section where there's shadow here, and the camera's kind of looking into that point there. So at that point, we're creating a little bit of shape and texture and stuff like that because of the fact that when you rake across something, it creates a shadow and we perceive depth from shadow. Right. So what I've actually been using is two soft boxes, two small soft boxes and uh, my two little Godox TT350 flashes. And I will definitely be doing a little video from that. Just got the Godox 80 centimeter. I was supposed to get two of them, but only one of them arrived. So instead I'm gonna get a 60 centimeter. So I have an 80 and a 60. So I don't have to have a huge one each time. I can use a smaller one if I need. Um, and a smaller light in close, it looks exactly the same as, as a bigger light further away in terms of softness. So this has been the start of my journey um, doing adding to my food portfolio. So I'm really liking the buy chart for help with that. So if you have any hints and tips that you'd like to include below or, or channels you think are really good, please do feel free to comment and let me know. Uh, again, I'm searching for work in this vein as well. And the more work I do, obviously, the more stuff I'll have in it. I'm actually really, really enjoying it. Uh, it doesn't require as much retouching as portraits. It's fun, and of course you get to eat the stuff afterwards. Well, some of the stuff I can't. You've obviously seen my diabetes video, so obviously there's lots, but I can't. Folks, thanks for taking time to watch this. So subscribe to the channel if this stuff interests you. Uh, hit the notification bell as well, and of course share it. Folks, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.